Hey there, Hunters, welcome back to the Gunners Guild, because we're actually switching gears really fast and going back to talking about Monster Hunter again. As everyone knows, I'm an avid gunner and almost exclusively play bow guns and bow in Monster Hunter games. They're very versatile weapons that need a lot of know-how and prep to perform well, and have always performed well in Monster Hunter games. I do enjoy them a lot because I feel like it's more like solving a puzzle. Once you know what you need to bring, where to shoot, and how to dodge, you pretty much got it all figured out. But with the fifth generation of Monster Hunter games, World and Rise, I found myself enjoying bowguns less and less. And there's a few factors for that, for sure, but the big one is the homogenizing of the two bowguns, light and heavy, into pretty much the same weapon with different walk speeds. It kind of takes all the identity out of both the weapons, so I kind of want to talk about that and what I want to see to return from older Monster Hunter games, most specifically, as you can probably guess from the thumbnail, is the tri bowgun parts system. Uh, but first, let's cover our current bowgun system, and then we'll go back to that. Right now, we have two bowguns, light and heavy, and the only fundamental difference between these two weapons is that heavy bowgun walks slower and sheaths slower and has the worst roll in the game. And I say fundamentally because other than that, the main difference is, is that the light bowgun can rapid fire ammo, whereas heavy bowgun can charge, and of course, there's the newly added silk mines and switch kills, but that's more of a temporary thing. But the issue is that these are just arbitrary restrictions. There's no reason why a heavy bowgun couldn't and shouldn't be able to shoot rapid fire ammo, and for light bowgun to be able to charge or crouch fire or use wyvern ammo. Heavy bowgun could use landmines, light bowgun could use wyvern heart, well, kinda already does now. But there's literally no reason for these, except to establish some difference between the two, but I find that unnecessary. And bowguns do often go through various other systems that get dumped or recycled, such as the bowgun mods and world, attachments, augments, and I feel like every system does something right, but it's never quite there for the old bow guns. So I wanted to propose an idea, which of course won't come to fruition, but an idea of what my ideal bow gun system would look like. And I want to start by going back to the bow guns of Monster Hunter Tri. In Tri, there's no light and heavy bow gun. They instead just have a system of bow gun that lets you assemble your own gun using three parts, a barrel, a frame, and a stock. Monster parts are not used to craft whole bow guns anymore, but instead can craft parts of the bow gun. Not all monsters can make all three parts, and it's up to you to mix and match and put together your own bowgun, which is really neat. While each of the bowgun parts have raw affinity, slots, weights, and provide different usable ammos, they also have other unique attributes depending on the piece. Frames dictate your base recoil and reload speed and deviation. Barrels often contain your deviation and critical distance range modifiers, huge for gunning, and also an interesting idea since it makes you play at certain distances. And then the barrel also can determine whether or not you have a shield. And the stocks help offset your recoil and reload of the frame, allowing you to have better or worse recoil and reload. Each of these parts have a weight, and the weight dictates your actual style of bowgun. Why bowguns can typically draw and sheath faster, roll further, and have a short hop and then slide after shooting. Medium bowguns, depending on the parts, can have a collapsible stock or not, having different draw animations. They also have a shorter roll than light bowgun, but still better than heavy bowgun, slower walk speed than a light bowgun, and they have a combat roll after shooting. Heavy bowgun obviously walks slow and has a very poor roll. Typically all the heavy bowguns have collapsible frames too, so you have the longer draw and sheath animations, and you have no immediate roll after you shoot. This in my opinion is a much better system than having two separate bowguns. Not only would it free up a weapon slot so maybe we can get a new weapon in here, prowler, but it also lets the players create and fully customize their own bowguns. You get to dictate your ammo that you can use, your type of roll, your damage, your critical distance, deviation, everything. It's all up to the player. And I feel like that would be better than the traditional system where each monster just crafts its own bow guns, and then we just ignore all of them but three. Blade Master weapons have this issue, but there's no reason why bow guns should, because we care about more stats than just raw and sharpness. But Tri's bow gun system is not without its flaws, of course. Mostly being Tri and the large monster roster being extremely tiny, there wasn't much diversity in the way of bow guns and also progression with them was a nightmare. I believe there's only like three of each parts in low rank besides the starting pieces. And of course, you only got like one or two from each monster, so it's extremely limiting. But I still believe this concept is great and it can be refined upon. And this is what I want as the foundation of my ideal bowgun system. Some of the tweaks of the tribe of bowgun system I would make though, would just be get rid of medium bowgun to be honest. As cool as I thought it was, it really didn't do anything that light or heavy bowgun didn't already do better. And outside of the super early game where you had to run medium bowguns, it really didn't see much use. Having a weight system that just flopped between light and heavy bowgun would be fine in my eye. And no, I don't think that it would be kind of like overpowered or cheesy to make a light bowgun go right up until that heavy bowgun threshold and still be light. Because as I mentioned before, gunners tend to care about a lot of factors. 
recoil, reload, deviation, clip sizes, critical distance, rapid fire, siege, and then of course raw and affinity all play a huge part into what makes a bowgun actually good. And I think we would often forsake raw or affinity, depending on you know if those are the heavier weights get more raw and affinity, just to get better clip sizes or recoil and reload. So I don't think having a system with just the two types of bowgun would get abused in any way like that, and I think it could be perfectly fine. What the system would do is give the player options for hybrid playstyles. You could feasibly craft a heavy bowgun with high raw and rapid fire status emos for support, or a light bowgun that could use wyvern fire, or a bowgun that could crouching shot rapid fire ammos. I don't know, like, it could be possible, and there could be an endless amount of possibilities. Of course, we would find the most optimal combination, there's no avoiding that, but the cool thing about bowguns is they can fill a very large variety of roles. So at the very least, we would still want to use bow guns for light and heavy for all the elements and all the different, you know, MO styles, assuming there's enough of a reason to do so. Light bowgun would obviously be walking and rolling faster, which makes it a much safer playstyle, and heavy bowgun should traditionally be stronger and have higher clip sizes. And so I feel like every type of MO, raw, status, elemental, would all have their niche uses in each light and heavy category depending on player experience. Probably the more casual player wanting to go light bowgun since it would be safer, and the more unga bunga people wanting to run heavy bowgun just for more damage and more clip sizes. And that's also assuming that all the ammos are usable, a topic for another day. And I do want to expand on the tribe bowgun system even more though, because I don't feel like that's just enough. Bowgun mods have always been fun, and every game seems to do it differently. But here's what I was thinking. Each part of the bowgun has its own mod section to allow for fine tuning. The barrel could have the traditional barrel mods, you could have a power barrel, a long barrel, a close range barrel, a shield attachment, or a limiter removal. The frame could dictate your special MO, because I want the system to come back, assuming the special MOs are worth using, big assumption, but you could elect for landmines, countermines, wyvern heart, wyvern snipe, or some new special MOs. I would wish that heavy bowgun would get to select two special MOs for being bigger and slower because you can pack more stuff into them. And I feel like that's a fair trade for their speed compared to light bowgun. And then the stocks could have a mod that allow you to fine tune the bowgun just slightly, like one more level of recoil, reload, deviation, or crit distance modifier. So with each of these parts, you would get one mod slot, and kind of like world, we had three mod slots until Iceborne we got five for heavy bowgun, so it's not truly outrageous, but you could really fine tune your bowgun to fit your needs and allow for a great variety of customization using essentially all the different features and systems we've had before. So I feel like this system, that's a mesh of Tri's base bowgun system, as well as modern 5th gen mods and mechanics, would be a great way to reintroduce the bowguns from Monster Hunter 6 or even past that. Cut out the unnecessary split between light and heavy bowguns and just give us a new weapon slot to get something new in here, please. Ultimately, I don't expect the system to be realized, of course, but as a gunner who's going back to the older generations of Monster Hunter games, I'm seeing more and more of what was excellent about each of these systems and I really wish we got a nice melding of all these different mechanics and stuff. But that's basically all for me. Thank you all for watching. Good luck out there, hunters. Let me know what you think. Hit me up on Discord. All that jazz. Alright, peace. Bye.